Morning. Today we're going to uh, sketch a graph based on some details given to us about the graph, uh, both limits and uh, certain points that exist on the graph. This is um, kind of uh, going backwards from what we did in another example where we were given a function, we took limits, we found out details of the graph and then sketched it from that. Here we're just given certain details. And the first detail is that f of 0 equals 0. Well, that implies that the point 0, 0 is on the graph. So I'm going to mark that right there in red. So we have 0, 0 on the graph. Um, the next detail that we are given is that the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the left of f of x equals negative infinity. And another detail we're given is the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the right of f of x equals positive infinity. Now this tells me I'm probably going to have a vertical asymptote, or more than <laughs> pretty much that I wouldn't be wrong if I sketch a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 1, and as it approaches, the graph approaches negative 1 from the right, I'm going to positive infinity, and as I approach negative 1 from the left, I'll go to negative infinity. So, we'll go over here. Notice I conveniently have negative 1 already marked on the graph. Uh, we'll go over here to negative 1. We'll draw ourselves a nice little dashed line. And signifying our vertical asymptote at x equals negative 1. So we have that there, and then we'll just make the little detail in blue that as f approaches negative 1 from the left, the graph is going to negative infinity, and as it goes from the right, it's going to positive infinity. So now we'll look at some more details that are given to us. Another detail that is given to us is that the limit as x approaches positive 1 from the left of f of x is positive infinity. So I'm thinking vertical asymptote again. In fact, I'm positive that it's a vertical asymptote. The other detail is the limit as I approaches positive 1 from the right of f of x is negative infinity. So we have another vertical asymptote at x equals uh, positive 1 as well. So I'll draw that in there and make indications of which direction it's going from what side. I'll do it in red. Uh, I'll just go over here with my triangle and draw a dashed line. Oops. Oh well, I don't think that's going to affect us too much. So now I've drawn in another vertical asymptote at x equals positive 1. I'm going to kind of fix this a little bit here, although it's not that important. Um, and as we come in to positive 1 from the left, we have, again, that f of x is going to positive infinity. And as we come in from the right, it's going to negative infinity. So a couple little last details, and then we can make our sketch. Um, now, the detail is given that the limit as x approaches negative infinity f of x 
equals zero. So that tells us we have a horizontal asymptote of x equal, I mean y equals zero in the uh, in the uh, negative, uh, the direction of, of negative infinity. So I'll just put that in purple, that we're going like that. We're going to, towards uh, y equals zero, it's a horizontal asymptote. We're also given the detail, the limit as x goes to positive infinity of f of x is zero as well. So it's also a horizontal asymptote in the positive infinite uh, direction. So we can make our uh, little mark there that tells us that the graph, the, the way I, um, I mean, it, there's really nothing that tells us with only these details that it can't cross the uh, x-axis. Uh, I could have drawn it uh, coming up here, going down here, uh, could have approached it from the top. I just chose this because that as, as f, uh, f of x goes towards uh, positive infinity, or x goes towards positive infinity, f of x approaches zero. I had said that it approaches zero from negative values simply because at the vertical asymptote I'm going to negative infinity. That's a personal choice. With the details given, there's nothing that says that uh, f couldn't do all kinds of stuff and approach, in fact, uh, the x-axis or y equals zero from through positive values. Um, I can't really, no, no nothing, nothing. So uh, we'll just put these little pieces together. So I'm going to stick with my details. So we said that it was, as we came out from negative infinity, we were going to follow the y-axis mean x-axis and as we approach negative one from the right we're going to go down to negative infinity over here we're coming down from uh, negative infinity we have there's nothing that says that it, it has to do what I'm fixing to do which is kiss uh, the the uh, y-axis and then return but um, that's uh, what I'm going to do, and then we know that it goes to positive infinity as x approaches uh, well, positive one from the left, and then again as x x approaches uh, positive one from the right, we know that we're coming up from negative infinity, and uh, I drew my arrow up there, but. I'm gonna change it because I like the way this looks better. And we're gonna approach, I'll change that little detail, approach the horizontal asymptote y equals zero when we go out to positive infinity. So uh, just a brief recap, uh, just to show you the details that on the graph, uh, f of zero equals zero tells me that zero, zero is on the graph. Uh, the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the right is positive, uh, negative infinity, I mean left is negative infinity. The limit as x approaches um, negative 1 from the right is positive infinity. It tells me how to vertical asymptote at x equals negative 1. That's why the, the limit as we approach negative 1 from the left, the graph goes to negative infinity. As we approach negative 1 from the right, it goes to positive infinity. Uh, same thing at x equals 1, when we approach it from the left, the limit uh, positive 1 from the left, uh, we are told that f of x equals positive infinity, so I've drawn like so. Uh, on the other side, as x approaches uh, positive 1 from the right, f of x approaches negative infinity, so I've drawn it like this. Uh, now for the horizontal asymptotes, the limit as x goes to negative infinity and positive infinity, we have the graph approaching the line y equals zero, so that's why we are going out and making the positive asymptote. Sorry about the curviness there, but that doesn't really matter. It could actually jump around like that. So that's it. Thanks.